All right, guys, so what we have is the quiet trim compressor. I think it also says heavy duty on the box. And for those who want to know, it's the DWFP55130. And uh, the reason I got this, I actually got this from my wife. And she does a lot of home decor signs. She goes into people's houses. She goes to businesses and uh, does signs and uses a compressor. Um, here at our house, she also uses it. So the biggest thing when she is working around people, uh, when this thing goes off, you can't hear what she's saying. You can't, you know, the people that's, that's there, they can't hear what their friends are saying. And it's just a nuisance. Um, so I thought this would be something good for her. And I've also been looking at this myself. And the reason for that is on the job site. Now, granted, I'm out, you know, there's nobody around, but I don't want to have to listen to a compressor run all day long. And it's, you know, I've got earphones in, I'm listening to music and stuff. But, you know, for instance, say that my miter saw, and this is kind of common, say my miter saw's here, and this compressor is, is under the miter saw, or at least close to it. Uh, you know, if I'm cutting and this thing's going off, I can't hear my music. I can't hear if somebody's talking to me. I have to wait till the compressor stops running. It's just, it's, it's annoying to have them be so loud. Uh, so what this one runs at is, where are we at? 71.5 dBA decibels. So if you're like me, that doesn't tell me anything. I don't know how loud that is or, or as far as other videos I've seen, they cut it on and I'm gonna cut this on, but you can't really tell from a video how loud or how quiet it really is. Um, but to do, give a comparison, I looked up on a chart and like 70, what, what's in this kind of range is like your shower. So you turn your shower on, that's around 70. A dishwasher is actually a little bit louder than this. Um, a vacuum cleaner is louder than this. Um, probably the closest thing I have to compare this to would be if you went outside, you cranked up your car and you were standing outside your door while the car is running. Um, I would say that's very comparable you could easily stand outside your car and have our conversation and not have to feel like you're having to compensate and talk louder. Very much like this. Uh, when I've had this running, I do not feel like I can be right on top of it and not have to talk louder or, you know, suggest we go somewhere else because I can't hear what you're saying. Uh, so I'm gonna go ahead and run it now so you can get a, an idea. And let's see here, we'll drain it right quick. It's more of a, I would compare this more of a, a hum, I guess, but it's pretty nice, man. I've been looking at this for a while, really for myself, and I just really couldn't tell, you know, is this going to be, is this going to be, you know, enough difference for me to warrant buying another compressor because I already have a compressor but I can tell you that the difference between a pancake and this is huge if there is a huge difference between the noise level um, and for, for comparison we'll turn this one on that's loud and I'd say that's kind of typical this may be a little bit louder than your typical pancake that just man Every time that thing cuts on, it just, it makes me aggravated. I don't, that's the only thing I don't like about it. It's loud. It's super loud. This one. It's not bad at all. So, my experience so far with this, this can turn on, if you have like your earbuds in, anything like that, you're going to be able to hear your music while this is going on and it not being an issue. You can have this thing turned on. You can be talking to people around you and it not be, you know, making it to the point where you just can't hear what they're saying or you have to, I don't know how many times I've had a conversation with somebody and the compressor kick on and you just got to stop talking until it cuts off. Then you can continue the conversation. Um, this is not like that. Um, so and I'll be honest with you, I'm not heavy on the whole stats and, and telling you all this other stuff, but uh, to give you an idea here, so three CFMs, 
that's a little more i believe than the pancake compressor that i have and basically what i was telling you is how much this thing can put out uh it can run they say three finish nailers at the same time now realistically i'm not going to be doing that maybe you guys would do that uh i would probably run two at the same time but they wouldn't be going like full speed at the same time and maybe maybe one is going then it stops maybe there is some overlap with both guns shooting um that, that would be probably typical for me for both say somebody's setting door somebody's doing baseboard that i could see that happening but it's not going to be happening all the time but they say you can do three guns so um so that's cool typical stuff on here if you want to raise the pressure it's got a dial that you'll turn clockwise to raise the pressure up turn it the other way and you can see it's going down to lower it uh, most guns are going to run anywhere from 90 uh, to you know, 100 maybe higher if you're shooting in some harder stuff but um, so overall I think I paid 225 I think on Amazon but uh, very happy with it as far as the weight of it I would say it's a little bit less than a at least it feels less to me than a pancake compressor I, I like the it's kind of streamlined uh, so when you pick it up so obviously I'm going to be picking it up from here uh, so this is going to be rubbing against my leg it, you know if I choose to have it that close to me um, and it was comfortable so I, I picked it up and walked around with it and it felt fine so you can have it like this um, or you can lay it flat and use it so they've got rubber feet whichever way you want to lay it um, you know, sometimes it's easier to store it in the vertical position but uh anyway guys if you got any questions comments anything like that leave me a message and i will get back to you as quick as i can thanks